Hello, beta testers. Update V1.6.0 has erased many people's progress in Marvel's Avengers. To revert this, go into settings, highlight gameplay, and access backup saves to revert and restore your progress. 20 seconds. That's how quickly I just informed and communicated a fix to anyone having that problem, because I respect you. So next time you're sitting through ads and intros when something's wrong with the game and people are not admitting that to you, remember what I'm about. And thank all of you again for the likes and dislikes because they boost these videos. Don't think I don't see y'all giving me more than that other guy sometimes. Wow. But even if progress isn't getting reset, there's a chance that enemies won't spawn for you no matter how many times you reload the checkpoint. A problem this game has had for over seven months. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad if players and diehard fans could respectfully vent their frustrations. But if you're watching my channel, you already know that places like the official Avengers Discord and the Play Avengers subreddit actively remove criticism, bug reports, or anything that they can declare wrong think or hate because it's not positive enough. Today, the moderators on the subreddit removed a post by Wolverine, a prominent creator who has taken the time to painstakingly visually illustrate features and functionality that fans have been begging for since the game came out, much of which flies to the top of the subreddit. Sound familiar? Apparently, his posts are fine when they generate buzz for the game, but he is not allowed a personal opinion. Because what he wrote was swiftly removed by the mods. Strange, it's like they're still learning about the Streisand effect. So as an exercise, I thought that we could read Wolverine's deleted post and try to assess why his post got removed. Was it provoking violence? Was it bullying or hate-filled like they always claim? Or is free speech just not allowed in the safe spaces they're trying to cultivate online? Let's find out together. The post is titled Crystal Dynamics Decisions PR and Optics. Wolverine writes, I want to talk about some of the decisions that Square or Crystal make in regards to this game and how I feel about them, the reactions from players to them, and why I think they are continually shooting themselves in the foot. This is not intended as any kind of rant. I just want to talk about some stuff and get opinions on it, and maybe if CD are lurking here, maybe it will help them in some small way, shape, or form. To save a lot of time, I'm going to use one specific subject to articulate my points, nameplates. Kyle here, we already may have something in the way of a red flag. The mods may not want people talking about nameplates because they're so disastrously underwhelming. And again, if you don't have anything positive to say, you're looking at getting your shit removed. So that could be a potential reason already. Wolverine continues, there is a narrative right now that the devs don't care about this game, that they're not passionate, that they're lazy. I don't buy that, to be honest. I think they're struggling and maybe bit off more than they can chew, sure. I think whoever was in charge of the game's overall direction made poor decisions in making it a half-life service, half-single-player story rather than focusing on one or the other. I think incompetence is not the same as indifference, harsh as that may sound. Boy, there's biting off more than you can chew, and then there's continuing to bite more when perhaps you should just chew what you got or spit it out. And this game needs to just be spit out at this point. If it launched bad and they tried their best thereafter, cool. But this has been bad decision after bad decision after bad decision after bad decision well after launch. Wolverine continues, here's the thing. Someone is making dumb decisions behind the scenes with this game. Hey, now we're talking. Like I said, let's use the nameplates as a main focus point. You've got a player base out there that is under the impression that your team doesn't give a shit about the game. Some believe that the devs are deliberately sabotaging the project so it can be cancelled and they can move on to something else. That's how bad some of the bugs and issues and design choices have been. 
You've got mobile games with the same Marvel license making sick animated nameplates. You've got games from 2015 making awesome animated nameplates. So here's like flag number two. You're not supposed to be talking about any other games because the fact that they can do better is just cruel. It's a terrible idea to put this game on the same playing field as other games. No, 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 no. You need to be experiencing this game the way that they create this game, which is in a vacuum. Fucking hilarious forgive me wolverine continues and now for your game with a dwindling player base while you're constantly struggling with bad optics and pr fires what do you do you put out instagram filters literally the most low effort content you can make images with filters you have defenders trying to cut this game slack give the devs credit and then you shoot yourselves in the foot by putting out content that screams low effort is the person running the show just completely unaware of how this looks when you're getting constant backlash for recolors asset reuse and expensive reskins you put an instagram filter on nameplates and then you get clowned by people on reddit who make actual animated nameplate concepts in less than a day it doesn't matter what your intent is. It looks bad. It looks lazy. You don't need that on top of the criticism you're already getting, Crystal Dynamics. Put out quality stuff or don't put stuff out. People are tired of stuff that looks half-assed. People would rather you didn't release animated nameplates at all than ones that scream lazy. We're literally telling you what we want all the time. Comic accurate skins, unique outfits that aren't just recolors, actual animated nameplates. People are literally telling you what they are willing to buy and you can't even get that right. Boy, this is just a Kyle video in words, son. No disrespect. But again, it's the general sentiment of a lot of people, I'm guessing. He continues to say, it's no wonder people are rapidly losing faith in your game. People's progress is still getting wiped eight months after launch. Tell them again. There is only so much defense you can get from working from home. And God knows I have sang along to that tune. But at this point, there's just no defending it. You shoot yourself in the foot repeatedly. And what are we supposed to do? We'll believe you care about the game when you show us that you do. Oh, no. He said my name. Oh, that's why the post got removed. You can't mention me. Don't you know I'm evil? <laughs> Apparently. Yet, if I were half as mean as some of you imply, I'd spend this whole last video laughing at this seven month broke ass game, literally erasing people's progress. Kyle might have been a dick to people and gone about things the wrong way. I'm the bear that people poke. And when I had a reaction, people were like, oh my God, how could he act that way? How can, can you believe it? Oh my God. Kyle might have been a dick to people and gone about things the wrong way and got himself removed from the community. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I've elevated my own status in this community because they didn't understand the Streisand effect while crucifying me. So a lot of things are better this way now, especially with this no contest victory I claim over these shills forcing themselves out of touch with their own communities by refusing to acknowledge huge community crippling problems that this game has, great job, Hufflepuff House. Plus 50 Seymour Skinner points. Y'all lie for attention, hype up potential content, and awkwardly sidestep problems because y'all role playing is like a Crystal Dynamics employee or something. You don't wanna say something that would portray the brand in a bad light. That's what y'all care about. Bravo guys, nice and human. <laughs> But I get it, right? Since the community that y'all build in have so many names and words and phrases and topics that'll trigger you guys. Defense mode engage. Must obliterate thought. Mm. Wolverine continues, regardless of what you think about him, many of his points and predictions are correct. And if you want to call me toxic for calling out the BS surrounding the game, fair enough. Well, they removed your post, homie. So, you know, if that isn't an indication that you're toxic, bro. Did you just use the word lazy? Did you just bring up he who shall not be named? Get the fuck out of here. You only make advertisements for our game and establish hype for things that aren't even in the game. Or you can fucking leave. There's the fucking door. I'm moderator for a Play Avengers subreddit and I'm as smooth as a Ken doll down there and you are gonna pay for it, okay? You think you're so cool? 
You think you're so cool? Well, I have all the power, and I'm sending your post to the Shadow Realm. Wolverine continues, but I simply have to speak my mind and take the good with the bad. No. The Defender way is to take the good with the good because there is only good, there can be no bad. Your post has been removed. I'll praise this game all day, all night, when it does something well. I'm still excited about the future despite everything I've said here, and I believe the devs are passionate and have the capability to make this game a turn-around story. They just need to get it together. You know, this is the kind of post that I was seeing like even five months ago. And that's the state of Crystal Dynamics Marvel's Avengers game, April 21st, 2021, seven months after launch. An update is erasing people's progress, and it is also reinforcing bugs that have existed since launch. But talking about it? Oh, banned. Removed. What? Do you have feelings? And they're not positive? You got me fucked up. Do you know what toxic smells like? It's you. How dare you? How dare you say that? How dare you say those things? You only do the good things. You only generate buzz and hype for this community or you shut your mouth and you get the fuck out of here. I am a mod, smooth as a Ken doll. Smooth, try and get smoother than me. Try I'm sorry for this bit, you know? It's just, this community's a damn shame. <laughs> Thank you for being part of the cool portion of it. The bystanders, okay? Only gently warmed by the flames. You know, we're not we're not trying to be involved in it. But it's crazy. This bitch has been on fire for a long time. And we come out of nowhere and go, Hey man, that building's on fire. And suddenly we the people who started it, we didn't start this fire. It was always burning from before launch. But it's okay because Kamala Khan and Kate Bishop saved the game. Just like Black Panther and Spider-Man that don't have dates, you know what I mean? We see you dropping Bucky Barnes files into the game. You should release this dude without the song and dance or the story mode shit, man. This game needs shit to do. This is what your player base looks like. This is what your player base looks like today. Today, your player base looks like this. You want to throw some more filters on some pictures? You know? How are you convincing anybody that you should continue to get to work on this? Love you, beta testers. Thank you for even, you know, this is a, it's a damn, it's a damn train wreck.